high school experience is going to be fight after fight. So I would say, I think I was in my junior year of high school. So I was dating this dude, and this dude, he did not go to our school. He went to school in another state. His god sister went to my school. Um, so she was a hoe. Like, I'm not even going to sugarcoat that shit. Like, she was a hoe. And she used to have, like, these little fucking shindigs at her house. Like, dudes and chicks would fucking sleep over, and then they would all bump uglies. And mind you, like, we're in high school. Shame. So I was dating dude, and then dude would, like, come see me and then spend the night at her house. And so some shit went down, and I'm like, oop, that was my boyfriend, sis. Like, what are you doing? He messed with some girl and then i found out about it but the thing is like i didn't give a fuck so the girl was mad because he was like dude was like oh i have a girlfriend and he said it was me but in my head i'm like you're not my boyfriend like so um yeah girls came to school and tried to fight me like i was not rocking i'm like Yo, y'all not, it was five of them. Yo, I'll never forget this. I'm walking through the hallway, right? And then, so, um, I'm walking to my class and these like five bitches like come up to me and they're like, oh, you were talking shit. I'm like, I have literally one friend, like who am I talking shit to? And I know my best friend wouldn't say anything. So get your life. So they're like mobbing on me and the one bitch smacks the books out my hand. I'm like, ooh, gangster. I was kind of like overwhelmed because I thought they were gonna jump me and I was like, yo, I'm really not trying to take this L. Like, like, I can't fade it right now. Like, I'm not about to be out here looking dumb. So I fucking square up with the bitch and then boop bop, knocked one bitch out, pushed another bitch, grabbed my books and I ran. Like, I fucking ran. Call me pussy. I got the fuck. So I get to class and one of the shawties is in my class and she's running her fucking mouth. So I flip the desk and I'm like, what's good? Mind you, we were taking a timed math test and this boy, I'll never forget, this boy was like, yo, calm down. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I was like, sir, <laughs> get the fuck off me. And I just kept popping off. But of course I knew she wasn't going to do shit. So I minded my business. Next morning, I got calls to the principal's office and they suspended me. And I kept on fucking getting suspended because these raggedy ass thoughts like kept beefing with me. And I'm like, yo, like I am dead ass just trying to get an education. Is. like my mom she came to the school and she was like ready to fight parents like anybody's mom want to run up like let's get it. like yo anybody's mother want to try me like what's good and she asked this one bitch's mom she's like why your daughter keep fucking with my daughter blah blah blah, blah. so i'm like mm. y'all didn't brought fuck with the wrong one because my mom don't play that like my mom will fight your mom and that's what i kept saying to them bitches like my mom looks better than all y'all moms all y'all moms are dusty and my mom is popping but anyway so I got suspended, I think for like three days, five days, I don't fucking remember. So, uh, around that time, I kept getting suspended back to back to back. And most of it was for like rapping. Like bitches never put their hands on me. All they did was rap. And I'm just like, you're rapping. <laughs> Knock a few bucks it. Oh, yo, I had went to this party and this was around the same time. So I think I was suspended. So one of my homegirls like hit me to the party and I'm like, shit, yeah, I'm down to go. I've been suspended for three days. Like I'm ready to turn up. So fucking, I go to this party with my friend and I feel like it was a whole jug, but whatever. Like that's why you gotta be careful because bitches who say they're your friends are not your friends. But mind you, my mom always taught me to be 10 toes down and pay attention to my fucking surroundings. So I'm always hit. Like, I peep shit because I'm mad visual. Like, I'm always fucking hip. You cannot finesse me, like, unfinessable. But anyways, so we roll up to this party. Somebody dropped us off. I don't know how we fucking got there. And, like, the party's mad dry. It's a house party. So everybody's, like, like, whatever. And the girl's mom was, like, supervising. So nobody was allowed to have alcohol. So these raggedy thoughts, of course, they smuggled fucking alcohol into the function when the girl's mom, like I knew the girl and like her mom knew me. So I was like, I'm not going to disrespect y'all by like turning up in your house because your mom knows who the fuck I am. 
maybe that's just me like maybe i was raised different but i don't know i just wanted to respect homegirl's crib so she had a nice little birthday party you know i came up to her i'm like happy birthday sis i gave her a hug blah 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 um and then the one bitch like i don't know where i was going i was like going like i think it was in the kitchen i was going to the living room and this one bitch like bumped into me little background story there was this dude and this dude like he went to our school but he got expelled because of mad close to the school so he used to have like a crush on me and i'm not gonna lie i had a crush on him but like you don't even go to school bro like we don't have a future like <laughs> whatever so this one girl started talking to him but he found out we were friends and kept asking her about me so homegirl was like mad and then she's like yo why didn't you tell me y'all talked i was like because we didn't like homeboy had a crush on me like <laughs> like with, he used to buy me black and miles like ain't much going on sis so, like, she got mad at me, and she's like, yo, why didn't you tell me? And, like, he still likes you, blah, 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 blah. But mind you, she's getting dicked down by old boy, and he's asking her about me. Like, <laughs> sucks. Anyway, so I guess she didn't like that, and then she got mad at me for not telling her that we talked when we ne In my opinion, we never talked. Homeboy just had a crush. Like, anyways. um, So, yeah, she bumps me at a party, and then I'm just like... <laughs> like, okay so then i go up to my friend and i'm like yo i think i'm about to get into a fight like she keeps doing shit to me we finna fight so party goes on and on and homegirl is like still trying shit and i'm just like this party's dry like the music's dry like i'm out like <laughs> so everybody's leaving out and she like comes up to me and i'm like i don't know what the fuck was wrong with me at that time but i'm like I'm gonna say I'm like spaced out, but I have like a delay reaction. Like somebody, like stuff for me happens in slow motion. And I'm like <laughs> trying to like evaluate the situation in my head. I'm like, all right. So she's coming up to me and I'm just looking at her like, okay. <laughs> and so it's like, she comes up to me, she says some shit. And I'm just like, she's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Basically she wants to fight me. And then like her friend, she had like her pregnant friend and some other bitch. And then they like came up to me too. And I'm like, oh shit, here we go. We about to get jumped or whatever. So um, I think I pushed her and then I just started dogging her shit. Like, because honestly, I started fucking her shit up because I was scared. And I'm like, yo, number one, I'm not trying to get my ass beat in front of all these people. And number two, like I'm scared. Like <laughs> there's three of y'all, there's one of me. So I'm dogging her shit and like we end up on the ground and like she kept trying to pull my hair bruh and I'm like okay and then her friends like grab my arms this pregnant bitch she grabs my arms and I like scratch one of their faces I punch the pregnant one like I'm just trying to I'm, like, get the fuck off me and then so the girl was like trying to beat my ass so I bit her like right here I bit the shit out of her I bit her like my fucking life depended on it and then I got up and then they were like texting me and calling me after and they were like oh blah blah blah, blah. so I went home to my mom and I'm like yo I just got into a fight and I was like you can't ever leave the house without fighting and I'm like like you want me to I'm not a bully you want me to like get bullied and allow that shit like nah bruh I'm gonna defend myself so that was that. <laughs> I had gotten to the fight. I had a busted lip because I bit through my own fucking lip. That's how fucking savage that shit was. But I wish I still had my old laptop because there had hella pictures and videos from Skype. Like, look, bitch. Ugh. So I went to the doctor because I was like, yo, I fucking hate this school. I hate all these bitches. Like, fuck everybody. Like, my best friend will always be my best friend, but I'm sick of y'all. Like, I'm tired of getting suspended. I'm tired of, like, fighting. So... I went to the doctor with a busted lip and I told my doctor, I was like, yo, I got into a fight, like, write me a letter to get out of that fucking school. Because the way that you would transfer is if they redistrict your neighborhood, um, it was like a physical reason, like something was physically wrong with you going to that school and like a whole bunch of other stuff. So I picked that one and I was like, something's physically wrong with me, write me a letter so I can get out of that school. And I went back to school 
um, it was like finals, and since I had gotten into it with those other bitches, uh, they suspended us, but all my teachers fucked with me, and they're like, yo, you're a great kid, like, I'm sorry this happened to you, and those, like, basically those bitches ain't shit, they don't take serious their education, they're rude, they're ratchet, like, fuck them, so I was able to take all my finals, they let me use my books, and then, like, some of them were easy, so I just fucking took my finals, um, the day before I got suspended, so I stayed after school, and I did all my finals and I fucking finessed that shit and then um yeah I basically passed all my classes with fucking A, B's and C's I'm not gonna flex like the girl had C's too and then when I came back from school after being suspended all those bitches were mad they're like oh you got to take your finals and we didn't we're gonna fail blah blah blah, blah. I'm like sis like your finals ain't really gonna make a dent in your grade your grades are still trash like whatever you're just mad cause my teacher fuck with me the principal like pulls me uh to the side and he's like um oh you got an approval to transfer like to be a pupil placed at another school so i'm like it's lit like what school am i going to for some reason i wanted to go to like any other high school except for the one i went to but of course i got sent to the one that i didn't want to fucking go to um so yeah that was it and i'm like okay eh, 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 go to school whatever the hardest thing about transferring schools in your senior year is that i had no friends like i had no day ones and i'm like yo this shit is awful when i went to the first high school my best friend moved like my best friend from middle school she moved to fucking like springfield or some shit and i was like depressed i was like ugh. then i made friends with this other girl and i'll tell the story about our friendship on another video because that shit is pretty lit and like i had her and she was like a grade under me and i'm like okay i go to this new high school <laughs> yo before i forget i actually had another friend but i think that bitch got expelled like I had this one friend, and we used to go on moves together, like hella moves. She was like the party princess, like, yo, she always had a move, like, uh. So we went to this house party, right? And it was lit, like, it was my old heads there. You know, like, we're in high school, so we're like, we think we're popping and shit, and I'm just like, uh, you know, chilling, vibing. And then, like, the music was live, they had hella alcohol, there was, like, people, whatever, whatever. So fucking, they have a tattoo artist there, and this is where I got my first and second ratchet ass tattoos. Like, I don't regret one of them, but the other one I do kind of regret. Um, so yeah, I got this tattoo right here, it says Nunu, um, yeah, it's whatever. And that's, you know, that's me, that's my name. So I got this tattoo and I have been drinking so the tattoo is fucking bleeding everywhere. Like it was so much blood. But I was like shit like and the dude I had like a peace sign, a dollar sign, and a star and the dude almost put a Mercedes symbol on my arm and I was like nah like that's not a peace sign bro. <laughs> like it was trash, like so trash. Like if I could do it all over again, I probably wouldn't have got this tattoo, but no regrets, you know what I'm saying? So me and my friend were kicking it with this girl, this one white joint. So this white girl, she was all like live and she was like, oh, you know. Um, so she was lit, like, so where was I? Oh yeah, so this girl at the party or whatever, she was lit, she was like hella friendly, yo, like. <laughs> she was hella friendly, so I'm just like, all right. So the next day at school, I don't know, I don't, that party like, that whole night, it just wouldn't end. It was like one of those nights where you want it to fucking end. Like, please, like, I want to go home. This is too live. Like, I'm ready to go. That's how that night ended up. So Monday at school, I think it was like the first day of school. And I have all these classes at a new school. And I'm just like, oh. I'm going to this class. <laughs> and I see the girl from the party. And I'm like, oh. Like, damn, it's just, like, damn. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I'm coming to a new school, like, and this girl knows, like, I'm ratchet, and I'm not trying to, like, have no beef at this school. So the girl's sitting in the back. I sit back there, and I'm just like, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. And she's like, hey, like, I remember you, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, we're in the class. We're rapping, and fucking, we about to become friends. So... She introduced me to all these people, I made some friends, blah, 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 me and her got mad tight, cool. So, 
I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even know how the fuck this fight started. Like, I don't remember what the beef was, but whatever. So I'm at homegirl's house that I met at the party and then she was in my class. And where she lives at, she lives in like a different town. But I live on the edge of that town. And so I was walking like the back way to her house to get to my house. Like, it's probably a 20 minute walk, but you like bob and weave through all these buildings and shit. It's like hella stuff over there. So it's not that far of a walk. So it, it was whatever. So one time I'm walking and like, I hear a car. Like, I had been turning up, so I had sunglasses on. This is when, like, Ray-Bans were a thing. So I had on some Ray-Bans, like the Lokes. And I'm just walking with my eyes closed. So I'm like, yo, I've been here a million times. Let me just close my eyes for a second. So I'm closing my eyes and walking. So, you know, like, you can hear everything. So I hear everything. I hear a car, like, going fast. And then it slows down and it passes me and it's like, yo, there she is. And I'm like, then the car like makes a turn. So I open my eyes and like put my glasses down. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So mind you, I can't see, I wear glasses. Like I can't see far away. So I look and I see like people and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So I end up getting into a fight with this girl. Like, I don't even remember why, bro. But her friends were there and her friends realized that she was getting her ass beat so and i'm not even just saying this like dead ass her friends realized that she was getting her ass beat so they like they didn't even try to help her they were just like fuck her up like what are you doing fuck her up so i'm like punching this bitch in the face like pulling her hair i pulled out her earrings she tried to like grab my purse and i like punch the shit out of her because i'm like yo like my phone my wallet everything is in there like you're not about to steal my bag so they took my shoes like i had got these fucking flip-flops from, from old navy so you know they're only like three to five dollars they took my shoes so i did walk back home barefoot or whatever so then i go to school that next day and like everybody's like yo why'd you fight this girl why'd you fight her blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm like dude like she wanted that smoke like I gave it to her. What do you want me to do? Like, whatever. So then I'm like in class and everybody's talking about it and I'm just like, oh, fuck, like I'm over this. Then I go into, as the teacher, I'm like, can I go to the bathroom? And she's like, ah. So I just went to the fucking bathroom. And I see the girl and her friend in the bathroom and like I was just looking at her. And then she like came out. Then her friend came up to me and was like, um, sh her mom said that she has to read my dream. I'm in 12th grade, like I'm a grown ass woman. <laughs> but her mom comes back and she's like, I mean, her friend comes back and said her mom was like, she has to like refight me. And I'm like, well, you're going around telling everybody that you beat my ass, but you obviously didn't because, and fucking like, if your mom wants you to refight me, that clearly means I beat your ass. Like, what's good? So yeah, I don't even fucking remember what happened after that. Like, it, it was what it was. So dramatic. The last fight that I got into um, is going to be on another video. So, 